Graphing a transformed hyperbola basically puts together everything that we know about transformations and hyperbolas. Okay, so the first thing we want to look at is how these minuses affect the curve. And just like with a circle, just like with an ellipse, what we're looking for is it's always x minus the x coordinate of the center, y minus the y coordinate of the center. The other way you can think about it is what value can we put in that'll give us zero and that'll be the coordinate for the center. So looking at here, x minus 3 tells us that 3 is our x coordinate for our center. y plus 1, y minus negative 1, that tells us negative 1 is our y coordinate. So we end up with 3, negative 1 as our center. Okay. From there, all we have to do is view our center as the origin. Okay, so just like before we did everything off of the origin, over up, made our silly box, all that stuff, we do the same exact thing now, but instead of going off of the origin, we're just going to go off of this point. Okay, so what this tells me is the x is first, which tells us it's a horizontal hyperbola, and the X, the term underneath the x is 4, which tells us that this is 2 squared. So our sort of x radius, our x dimension, is going to be 2 in each direction. So all I need to do is draw out 2 in either direction, and that marks my quote-unquote x radius. In this case, it's going to be the transverse axes because this is the direction of the hyperbola. Okay, doing the same, I think, for, nine, for the y term, 9. 9 is 3 squared, so this tells us we are going to go up 3 and down 3 from the center. So from the center, up 3. From the center, down 3. We were at 1, so that takes us to negative 4. And from here, we are able to draw our box. Okay? So we basically, well, the first thing we want to do is connect where these points would actually meet up. So we take these two points and take this one over, take this one straight up. That gives us a point, another point, third point, and a fourth point. So that makes up our box if we were to draw it. You can either connect the dots if you want to, or the main reason we do all this is to find our asymptotes. Okay, so basically all we want to do is connect the opposite corners of our rectangle. And that line is horribly off, I apologize. Hopefully you at least get the idea of what's going on. And now we just want to figure out where the graph goes. Okay, so the endpoints of our transverse axis are actually the turning points for a graph, where that graph turns from going one way to going the other. So I know that the x is first, so this is why one of my vertices. This point is on the graph, as is this point over here. And then just filling in the blanks, we know that the graph has to get close to these asymptotes and go through this point. So we have that one half over here and the other half ends up over here. It's not perfection, obviously, but hopefully you get a good idea of how to graph a hyperbola that has been transformed. Basically find the center and then do everything you did when it was centered around the origin, but just off of that new center point.